The SD card, no competition. Video I'm over, I'm out. Okay, it's not that simple. I'm going to show you some really dodgy stuff like this monstrosity and these horrible things. Welcome to the Steam Deck load time video. Initially, I just wanted to compare internal storage versus SD card versus hard drive on a stick on the Steam Deck. That simple experiment turned into this nightmare. Turns out there's a lot to storage media and how fast it runs. But let's start with the point of the video, SD card versus hard drive. What's faster? I have here five SD cards going from super high, nice quality to it's gonna catch fire. And then in this corner, I have a one terabyte, 2.5 inch, 5,400 RPM hard drive from Western Digital in a box over USB 3. This is the same spec hard drive that you would find in the PlayStation 4. And the only subject we will be using for testing today is going to be Horizon Zero Dawn because it's a massive open world that has to load a lot of data initially, so it gives us time to actually see how long it takes to transfer that data from hard drive into memory. Plus, it also runs on the PS4 and PS5, which just gives us more data to compare with. The testing, is th the testing methodology is simple. The device is turned on, then immediately turn the game on and then immediately press the continue button. And this should prevent any sort of caching happening. And the results are... As you can see, apart from the SD cards that just simply refuse to work because they are scams, even the bargain bin SD card is faster than the hard drive over USB 3. Hell, it's even faster than the PlayStation 4 one and that's like an integrated system. But why are the SD card results so varied? And why is the premium SD card actually slower than the mid-range Samsung one? Well, to start with, SD cards have different speed classes. You can see them in this table. Basically, the higher the class, the higher the speed it's rated at to work. This is important for like video cameras because when you're recording, for example, in 4K, you need to make sure that it can actually write the data for that video at the correct speed on the SD card. That being said, the V60 and V90 classes actually have extra pins on the card itself that the Steam Deck is missing. Therefore, even if you put in a V90, it will just run at the 30 speed. So there's no point. I would make sure you don't buy a V60 or a V90 card for the Steam Deck. They can be two to four times more expensive than a V30 or a V10. So in this case, you're obviously just better off buying a V10 or a V30. And if you compare the V10 and the V30 to the hard drive, they're still faster. The V10 runs as fast as the PlayStation 4 hard drive inside of the PlayStation 4, never mind it inside of a USB 3 caddy. Thus, my recommendation for you is buy an SD card from a reputable source. A V10 is fine. Just make sure that it's a reputable brand name and not some dodgy stuff of eBay. Side note, when I went to purchase the two scam cards, the point of it was to see if even an eBay bargain bin made on a boat card works. However, the problem with them is they're not actually the size that they say they are. It's painted on them that they are 128 gigabytes, but the King one is 16 gigabytes and the DPM one is 64 gigabytes. But that's the story regarding SD cards. Let's go into my next favorite section, cables. So one of the big problems that you're gonna find is, and it's a good thing why LTT are making their LTT labs, is out of all of these cables I have, and I have adapters and stuff and SD card readers and so on, only four of them actually work at USB 3.0 speeds. The vast majority of them are USB-C connectors that work at USB 2.0 speeds. I don't know why this happens, but it does. If you want to make sure that the cables you have are right for USB 3.0 speeds, when doing your testing, make sure that your load times are closer to what I have in orange in the table, rather to pink. You can find the, the link to the table in the description. The next hurdle in testing, and this is where we get to actual interesting facts, is the OS, file system, and storage medium combinations make vast differences. For example, Windows plus NTFS plus hard drive works a hell of a lot faster than Linux plus X4 plus hard drive. However, if you swap them around and put Windows plus NTFS plus SD card, it works way slower than Linux plus XT4 plus SD card. 
even bearing in mind all of that, nothing compares to Steam Deck plus X4 plus SD card. It just blows everything out of the water, including a PlayStation 4 with, it, with its internal hard drive. The only way you can go faster than an SD card on the Steam Deck is to get an NVMe drive. Which brings me to my next point. What if you want to go as fast as possible? One thing you can do is you can get a Microsoft Surface Pro, remove the NVMe drive from it, which is the standard that the Steam Deck uses, and then put it in the Steam Deck and you have more storage. So I propose another solution. If you want the fastest, stupidest, balls to the wall solution, open up your inventory and you take one of these, here you go, put it in the top slot, and then you take one of these and you put that, ooh, Take one of these and you put that in the top slot and then you take this make sure it's usb-c and you put it in the middle slot you take some tape and you put that in the middle slot next to the cable and then you take your steam deck into the bottom slot and voila perfect storage solution for your Steam Deck. And if you think I'm joking with this thing, check out these load speeds. It loads as fast as the internal hard drive, and on my PC, it's only three seconds slower than the internal VMA drive. At this point, you're limited by how fast the Steam Deck actually works at sending data from the NVMe into its memory and not by any sort of cable or anything. You could conceivably have only NVMe drives with you in a separate carrying case and just Put the different ones in the caddy and the steam deck will pick them up just fine setup is a little bit annoying and i'll link to a video by some other youtuber that made it as straightforward as possible but it is a little bit involved and that's it hopefully now you know what your storage options are on the steam deck and how well they perform and you can make a more informed decision depending on how much money you want to spend you can use a uh, standard class SD card. You're only losing a few seconds off the load times. You can use the Samsung one, which is gonna last longer and work better, but it is it does come at a premium. Or if you really wanna go fast, eh, you gotta go fast. Just use an external NVMe drive. Well, I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, like the video. If you liked me, subscribe. If you do subscribe, two things happen. One, I get closer to my uh, goal of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so I can turn on monetization and pay for all these VSD cards. And two, you make me do a push-up. For every subscriber, I do a push-up. More explanations in this link here. Uh, here. But basically, I am going to keep doing one push-up per subscriber until I get to 100,000 subscribers. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace!